good morning dear students we are continuing the topic uh, genetics in that today we are going to learn about the sex determination right so we'll deal with the topic sex determination in animals right so sex determination is always a point of interest okay it is always a point of interest though both for the people and also for the scientists also then how the scientists described a, a discovered the sex determination so scientists conducted many experiments many experiments on different types of animals and some of the people conducted studied the cytology so the cytological studies of different insects led to the development of a genetic basis of sex determination or otherwise it is called as chromosomal basis of sex determination okay so it is a, a genetic basis of sex determination or chromosomal basis of sex determination so you know that chromosomes so you have studied this one in the class 11th right you studied about the structure of chromosomes types of chromosomes also so chromosomes are basically two types one is allosome and second one is autosomes what are allosomes chromosomes that determine the sex are called as allosomes otherwise we can call them as sex chromosomes also then what are autosomes then autosomes means the chromosomes other than sex chromosomes that means the chromosomes which are not involved in determining the sex are called as autosomes these autosomes generally determine the uh, somatic characters okay somatic characters like the shape of the nose shape of the face the shape of your hands right so these are the somatic characters so how many autosomes are present number of autosomes equal to total number of chromosomes minus 2 why you know that the allosomes are two for example you take the human beings what are the types of allosomes present in human beings means the allosomes are x and y so total number of chromosomes minus total number of uh, number of autosomes equal to total number of chromosomes minus 2 indicates the number of autosomes so let us see so sex chromosomes as i described the sex chromosomes are two in number so they are x and one is y okay so let us see the x chromosome who discovered the x chromosome x chromosome was first discovered by h and king okay H and King described the discovered the sex chromosome, right? So actually, actually, Henkin called the X chromosome as X body. First, he called the this one as X body. Later, this X body was called as X chromosome. So Henkin conducted experiments on wasps. So he conducted experiments on the wasps, right? So he studied the spermatogenesis of wasps. while studying the spermatogenesis of wasp we observed that there is a specific nuclear structure in the wasp there is a specific nuclear structure in the we observed a specific nuclear structure during the spermatogenesis in wasp then this specific nuclear structure structure was inherited to the 50% of sperms so 50% of sperms received the, the specific nuclear structure and the remaining 50% did not receive any nuclear structure right then he called that specific nuclear structure as x body later this x body was discovered called as x chromosome right you can see at the body in the wasp we can see these are the chromosomes and this is the specific nuclear structure which is represented in the as a red dotted line so this is the condensation of chromosomes right so here these when the during the process of spermatogenesis it forms two types of sperms so in the 50% of sperms are receiving the x factor or x body and the 50% of sperms are not receiving that x body so x body is received by only 50% of sperms so this x body is called as what x chromosome then what about y chromosome y chromosome was discovered by stevens and wilson okay so they studied that spermatogenesis in the meal worm called as tenebro molitor in tenebro molitor they discovered the y chromosome as the 
sex determining chromosome. They revealed that the chromosomal basis of sex depends upon the presence or absence of Y chromosome. So according to uh, Stevens and Wilson, if Y chromosome is present, it is male. If Y chromosome is absent, it is female. So, presence or absence of y, y chromosome determines the male sex, right? So, this is about the Y chromosome. Let us go for the next one, types of sex determination or theories of sex determination. There are four different types of theories in the sex determination. One is the heterogametic sex determination. The second one is genic balance theory. Third one is haploidy, haplodiploidy type of sex determination. Fourth one is environmental sex determination. So let us see today the heterogametic sex determination. So what is heterogametic sex determination? Let us see. So heterogametic sex determination was proposed by Korens, a scientist called as Korens. So organs which are producing gametes are called as primary sex organs. Right? What are the primary sex organs in human beings? The primary sex organs are the testes and ovaries. So testes produces which uh, testes produce gametes. What type of gametes? Testes are producing the sperms. Sperms are the gametes. Ovaries produces the ova. Ova is a gamete, right? Then let us see the type of sex, uh, sex chromosomes, whether it is homogametic or heterogametic, and gametes formed. How many types of gametes are formed? If two sex chromosomes are similar, this is a very important point. Like you can see here. So X and X, these are two similar sex chromosomes, uh, Z and Z, these are also two similar sex chromosomes. They produce only one type of gamete. If they are producing only, if the two sex chromosomes are similar, we call that, that one as homogametic. In homogametic uh, type of uh, sex determination, we are, we are getting only one type of gamete only. So either XX produce only one, X chromo, one, uh, one gamete, that is X type. Z, Z type of chromosomes produces only a Z type of gamete. So, only one type of gametes are formed. Only one type of gamete is formed. Right. The second one. If two sex chromosomes are dissimilar, see here, the word I am using here, dissimilar, not same. Here the two sex chromosomes are same, but here two sex chromosomes are not at all same. Then if the two sex chromosomes are dissimilar, we call this one as heterogametic. So can we take example as it XY and ZW. So in a heterogametic condition, they form two types of gametes. So here we are getting two types of gametes. X is one gamete, Y is one gamete, Z is one gamete in this case, and W is one gamete in this case. Third one, if only one sex chromosome is present, that means here only X chromosome is present. Okay, but here it is represented as zero. It is not in the chromosome, right? In this, the sex chromosome is absent. So we are, we are representing it as zero. Here also, the sex chromosome is, uh, chromosome is Z. The other is represented as zero because there is no sex chromosome in that. Then that condition is also called as heterogametic. In heterogametic condition, they produce two types of gametes. One is X and one the other is zero. Zero does not have any value. Right. So, let us go for the next one, heterogametic sex determination. Right. So, what is heterogametic sex determination? In heterogametic sex determination, the sex chromosomes of species are dissimilar. Okay. That means, generally, in heterogametic sex determination, the heterogametic sex determination, the sex chromosomes of a species are dissimilar. How? Let us see. One of the species produces similar gametes. Imagine it is a female is producing similar gametes. That is XX chromosomes. It is having two similar chromosomes. So similar gametes are formed. X is one. Another is one. Then other species produce dissimilar gametes. You take the male human beings. He is having X, X, Y. So X is one gamete. Y is one gamete. Okay. So it is they are producing dissimilar gametes. So one in heterogametic sex determination. One of the parent is producing similar gamete. And other parent is producing dissimilar gametes. Then what about the sex of the young one? The sex of the young one is determined at the time of syngamy or at the time of fertilization. What is meant by syngamy? Syngamy means fusion of 
male and female gametes is called as syngamy. So the fusion of male and female gametes is called as syngamy. Right. So the sex of the young one depends upon which gamete of the two sim dissimilar gametes unites with the other gamete produced by the homogametic parent. Okay. The sex of the young one depends upon what? The sex of the young one depends upon the upon the two dissimilar gametes. So in the two dissimilar gametes, which gamete is uniting with the gamete produced by the homogametic patient? So so homogametic parent. I'm, not, I'm sorry, it is a, a not patient. Homogametic parent. All right. So let us see that one in an experiment. With the crosses we can understand easily. We'll go for the next phase. So male heterogamy. In male heterogamy, in this type, the male is producing two dissimilar gametes, and the female produces similar gametes. See, it is of two types. The male heterogametic sex determination is of two types. One is XXXO type and second one is XXXY type. So here they will be asking you in objective way XXXO type of sex determination was seen in. So that is very 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 important. Okay. XXXY type of sex determination was seen in bugs, grasshoppers and cockroaches. So it is seen in bugs, some bugs, grasshoppers and cockroaches. In XXXO type, the females are having similar gametes and the males are having two dissimilar gametes. Right? So, before going to the gametes, the, simil the females are having two similar chromosomes and in the males, the chromosomes are dissimilar. And this was discovered by Macklin. Macklin discovered this type of sex determination in grasshopper. So, the carrier type of female is A, A, X, X. A is nothing but autosomes. A is nothing but autosomes. And the carrier type of male is A, A, X, O. A, A, X, O. Let us see the cross. So, the female is A, A, X, X. The male is A, A, X, O. Then the female is producing two types of two similar gametes. And the male is producing two dissimilar gametes that is ax gamete and ao gamete or a0 gamete then if you take the punnett square i have multiplied ax into ax aaxx ax into ao aaxo ax into ax aaxx ax into ao aaxo so the sex of the offspring depends upon the type of sperm that fertilizes the ovum so here if you see ax you can go here. Mm. A X A X. Oh, sorry. Two types of gametes it is forming. A X A X. And here also two types of gametes are similar gametes and dissimilar gametes. Here A X and A O. So we are multiplying this A X with this A X, right? I am multiplying this one with this. So what I am getting? A A X X. I am multiplying this one with. Sorry, I am multiplying this one with this one. Let us see what I am getting. A A X O. Same. A A X X. We will get same. A A X O. Like that you can do the cross. So multiply first one, this one with this one. Again this one with this one. And this one with this one. And this one with this one. Then you will get four types of karyotypes. Right? So the sex of the offspring depends upon depends upon the type of sperm that fertilizes the ovum. So A A X X are females and A A X zero are males. Okay. Now let us go for the next one. X X X Y method. So in X X X Y method, it is seen in Drosophila and humans. XXXY method of sex determination is seen in Drosophila and humans. So in Drosophila and humans, both the males, that means both the males and females have same number of chromosomes. So remember that in humans there are 23 pairs. Okay. In humans there are 23 pairs. But in Drosophila there are 8 pairs. So that is the chromosome number. So the, both the male and females will have same number of chromosomes. Then what is the carrier type of female? 
Female is having a karyotype is AAXX. This is the karyotype of female. And the karyotype of male is AAXY. So when we take the karyotypes here, the female produces only one type of gamete that is AX gamete. Whereas the male produces two types of gametes. One is AX and one is AY. Let us go for the cross. Right. So here I am taking AX, AX. This is the female. And this one. A. Okay. This one is AX, AY. So this is the female individual, this is the male individual. We are crossing this one with this one. AX into AX. AAXX. AX into AY. AAXY. AX into AX. AAXX. AX into AY. AAXY. Okay? AAXY. So similarly, you can go like this also AAXX into AAXY. So this is producing only one type of gamete that is a AX, but it is producing two types of gametes AX, AY. Now we'll cross this one with this one AAXX. This one with this one AAXY. So, what, how the sex of the offspring depends upon what? Sex of offspring. Depends upon the fertilizing sperm. So very important. Sex of offspring depends upon the fertilizing sperm. So this is one sperm. This is another sperm. And this is the ovum. Okay. So sex of offspring depends upon the fertilizing sperm. Let us go for the next one. Female heterocam. So in this method of sex determination, the male is producing similar gametes. So very important thing here. The male is producing similar gametes and the female produces uh, dissimilar gametes, right? And it is of two types. One is ZO, ZZ method. And the second one is ZW, ZZ method, right? One is ZO, ZZ type and second one is ZW, ZZ type. Let us see. ZO, ZZ type. It is seen in moths. Very important one, Fumia. Many times they ask type of sex determination in Fumia, right? So, it is seen in moths, for example, fumia and in some butterflies. So, in this case, the males are homogametic with two Z chromosomes. And females are heterogametic with only one sex chromosome that is Z. And other one is zero. So, we have taken this one as a female and this one is the male. You have seen the karyotype. So, the female is producing two types of gametes, AZ gamete and A0 gamete. And male is producing only one type of gamete that is AZ. Okay. Let us go for the cross now. Yeah. In AZ, AO, AZ, AZ. So we are crossing this one. AAZ. We are crossing this one. AAZ. We are crossing this one, A, A, Z, O. We are crossing this one, A, A, Z, O. Right? Then, sex of offspring. Depends upon. Sex of offspring depends upon the type of ovum. That is fertilized. So in this cross you can clearly observe that. Let us go for this one also. A, A, Z, O. 
into AAZ. So how many types of gametes it is forming? Two types of gametes. AZ gamete, AO gamete. It is forming only one type of gamete. AZ. So let us cross this one with this one. When we cross AZ ovum with AZ sperm, we will get, we'll get male. Similarly, when we cross AZ sperm with AO, AZ is 0 otherwise. AAZ. So, AAZO is the female, AAZZ is the male. So, this is one type of cross. We will go for the next one. ZWZZ type. So, it is seen in the birds, reptiles and some fishes. Here also the males are homogametic. The males are homogametic. And the females are heterogametic. And the carrier type, if you see, the female is having AAZW type and the male is having AAZZ. So, it is seen in the birds, reptiles and some fishes, I am telling you here. You have to remember the names. They will be asking you the question. Type of sex determination seen in Neophron. Type of sex determination seen in King Cobra. Type of sex determination seen in Shark. Like that, they will be asking you the names of the birds, the names of the reptiles and names of the fishes. So, but you have to remember the names also in this type of sex determination. Right. Let us see uh, the karyotypes. If you see the karyotype, female is AZ, AAZW, and the male is. A, A, Z, Z. Okay. Now let us see the gametes. A, Z, W, A, Z gamete. A, W. But it is forming only one gamete that is A, Z. So let us make the cross. A, A, Z, Z. Okay. A, A, Z, W. Same here. Sex is determined. Sex is determined by the type of ovum. That is fertilized. Okay. So, this completes about the sex determination in animals, that is the heterogametic sex determination and homogametic sex determination also. Still, we have to go for the sex determination in humans and genic balance theory and haplodiploid sex determination and environmental sex determination. Uh, that one we will deal in the next video. Okay. So, after completion of the sex determination, I will give an objective examination. Right. So, thank you very much. Take the notes also, ma. copy the notes and read thoroughly. If any doubts are there, you can freely post it in the Telegram group or WhatsApp group. Right? Have a nice day, ma. Thank you.